Hello and welcome again to my channel English is easy. So therefore I hope that my previous videos you have enjoyed those videos and you have understood what I have taught to you taught you. So today what I am going to show you is that what is conjunction? And it's kinds. So this will be our topic for today and I am going to show you how you can easily understand which are the conjunctions and how to join two different sentences into a single one. So in a very easiest way. So let's begin. What you have to know is that what is a conjunction and what it performs in our English language. So conjunction is something by which two complete sentences can be joined. But you have to be very careful. You should not confuse a conjunction, a conjunction with a relative pronoun or adverb. You should not ever confuse a conjunction with a relative pronoun or adverb or a preposition. Because there is a stark difference between these things. A conjunction also joins as complete sentences. These relative pronoun, relative adverb and preposition also, they also join the sentences. But a conjunction merely joins two sentences and does no other work. Okay, that means a conjunction only joins two sentences but it does not perform any other function. But these things they perform more than joining. They qual modifies the verb, a relative adverb, they modifies the verb, a relative pronoun modif shows that and by showing that the house, that is uh, the house which you know that is built by Jack. So here what that shows that it is showing that the house belongs to Jack or it is built by Jack. So there is a stark difference. This is the place where he was killed or he was murdered. Here where signifies or it modifies the verb murdered. So these are far more different than a conjunction. So we should not confuse this with them. So it is the foremost thing we should remember. So therefore we should consider only on this thing. Forget about our other uh, rest of the things. So, what we have to know that conjunctions and but or nor so uh, unless until these are the conjunctions simple conjunctions which you will use in any kind of sentence to join the sentence. So, they will help you in joining. Okay, sometimes they are before. These things you can find in preposition also, but here they will act or they will function only as a conjunction. So, conjunction can be classified into different conjunction. Uh, it has four different kinds. Okay, so you have to know those things. Number one, Correlative. Number two, compound. Number three, coordinating. Number four, subordinating.
so these are the four different kinds of conjunctions okay so what is correlative conjunctions when the conjunctions they sit by in a pair neither nor either or not only but also like these things when they come by pair compound conjunctions like uh, on condition on condition that even if so as if these are the compound conjunctions i will give you example coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions these are little bit different from them within coordinating conjunctions you will get four different kinds of conjunction number one uh, cumulative conjunction number two adversative conjunction number three elective conjunction and number four disjunctive conjunction and subordinating conjunctions can be divided into uh, six different ways into a time into cause and reasons uh, purpose result and like this way conditions like this way so we have to be very careful in what way these things are being demarcated or these things have been have got difference with one another. What you have to see that which are the conjunctions because you have to remember these things and you have to study very hard while remembering those things because and but as unless until though when while where if and then so these are all simple conjunctions which you can see in each and every sentences for example if uh, Ravi and Shashi both are good boys we will write like this instead of writing Ravi is a good boy and Shashi is a good boy not like that but we will compact the sentence into a single sentence so that it explains the meaning without being too long suppose Ravi works hard full stop Shashi works hard so if you are going to combine those sentences what you are going to do both of them were working hard. So, Ravi and Sashi work hard. So, by this way, you are going to combine those sentences. So, all these things, they will be used in some or other example. You will wait until I come. Except writing, you will wait here, full stop. I will come here. So, you will wait here until I come. So it makes a complete sentence, a compact sentence by which you can make the meaning understand more easily and in a more prominent way. Next what comes? Correlative. Correlative con conjunctions, what I have said, that they sit by pair. See, either or, neither nor, both and, though, yet, whether or, not only but also. I remember one thing which is very important do not ever use both these things side by side or following one another or preceding one another because that will be wrong because each and every sentence they will be placing themselves in two different positions otherwise the sentence will not be correct if someone say uh, for example either he or I will go there that means one of us will go there that is the meaning. So, in that case, we are using either I or he will go there. If both of us will not go there, neither he nor I will go there. If something is known to both of us, not only he but also I knew about their plan. Though he was warned, yet he went there. Whether he used to do this thing or not. So these are the things. Both the girls and their brother went to school. So these are the examples. These are the things. What I am saying to you. These are the examples by which you are going to convert the sentence or compact the sentence into a single sentence by using correlative conjunction. Now comes compound conjunctions. What are they? In order that on condition that even if so that as though as well as as soon as as if these things you have 
and known very earlier also. If I, for example, if I'm, uh, for example, as if she looks as if she was angry. At not uh, he as well as his brother have done well. As soon as they got the news, but they heard the news, they went there. So these are the examples. How you are going to do the sentences? How you are going to make those sentences correct by using these examples or these by using these conjunctions? So these are the examples. Write them down or take a screenshot because it will be very helpful to you in while solving the question. We have to know about coordinating conjunction. So what is coordinating conjunction? It specially joins two clauses of equal meaning or equal rank. That means both were the independent sentence. That means both the sentence can express their meaning. Then this coordinating conjunction is used to join them. So coordinating conjunctions can be easily remembered by a trick which maybe you, some of you have already heard about it that is fanboys so what is this fanboys it is simply nothing each letter of this word represents one of the conjunctions suppose f represents for a represents and N represents nor, B represents but, O represents or, Y represents yet, and S represents so. So if you can remember this thing, it will be very easy for you to remember which are the coordinating conjunction. Because a simple word, it gives each letter gives one single example of a conjunction. So fanboys, you have to remember this thing and each letter, what does it shows? You have to remember these things. So note it down. It will help you very, it will help you in every time while you are doing coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions can be classified into four different things. These are the four different things. Number one, cumulative. What does cumulative signify? It adds a statement. It simply adds a statement. Suppose we carved not a line and we laid not a stone. Just a simple statement, another statement, complete statement or complete, a meaningful sentence is being added with it. Adversative. What does adversative? Adversative expresses oppositions or contrast. That means he is slow but steady. You have known that story, a renowned story about the tortoise, a race between tortoise and a hare. So he is slow but steady. So adversities express a opposition, an opposition or contrast. What is disjunctive? Expresses a choice between two. Because whenever you are being given a choice between two, then it shows a disjunctive conjunction. What is elative? Elative expresses a inference. So these are the things within the coordinating conjunctions, cumulative conjunctions, which express adds a statement, adversity, which shows, which expresses oppo an opposition or contrast. Disjunctive expresses a choice between two alternatives. <coughs> elative expresses Infants. So these are the coordinating conjunctions. Learn them by heart and you will have no problem in doing conjunction. Coordinating conjunction. What is subordinating conjunctions? It's a different way expressing the meaning. That means where in subordinating conjunctions there will be one independent sentence and that independent sentence is going to be joined with one or more than one sentences which are dependent on the first sentence or on the independent sentence. You have to remember this because subordinating conjunctions 
in subordinating conjunctions there is only one independent one sentence which expresses the complete meaning and another sentence which does not expresses the complete meaning so that very sentence is dependent on the very first sentence so in subordinating conjunctions also there are some classifications what it shows time cause or reason purpose the results or consequence conditions concessions and number 7 that is comparison so if i give an example of comparison ram is stronger than his brother so it shows a comparison concessions what is concessions that means it showing though he scores me yet i love him though he scores me yet i love him this shows a concession next condition that means when some conditions are applied i will do that if you reward me that means as you can as you used to say to your parents that only if you give me something then i am going to study so this is a condition so here in condition so then he is expressing comparison though yet is expressing concession conditions if is expressing the conditions now results or consequence so uh, he was so tired that he cannot walk so that is a result or consequences when after walking so much that he became so tired that he had no more energy or no more power to walk anymore so this is results or consequences purpose what purpose shows we eat so we eat that we may leave so here also that we eat that we may leave so this is showing a purpose for what purpose the thing is being done now comes cause cause meaning as he was not there as he was not there i spoke to his parents that means cause or reason he was not there that was the cause or that was the reason for for which i have to talk to his parents so as he was not there i talked to his parents time before he reached there the teacher arrived before i could go there the movie uh, before reaching the cinema hall the movie had already started so here also before is showing is expressing the time so these are the things follow the chart previously the coordinating conjunctions now the subordinating conjunctions follow the chart these are the things which will enable you to remember it in a very easy way how you can use the conjunctions of the uh, particularly in which kind of sentences and what kind of sentences because in a sentence it will show its purpose some sentence so it will show conditions some will compare something some will show the reason or cause so you have to be very clear because this will prove to you that it is really effective while you are giving your exams and while you are solving the questions so just go through it and so far if you have liked my video please give your precious like that i have made quite clear about conjunctions and its classifications and i obviously if you have understood up till this and if you have liked my videos please do share like and subscribe my channel so that others could see these and could get hold of conjunctions and could know each and everything more easily and i hope that you will do the things which i have told you and please go through these things and practice these things at home so that and it will make you more far perfect and more eligible to do each and everything have a good day and best of luck to all of you